you say, of course. Uh, <laughs> some people call him a Chad on uh, Twitter just because of his looks <laughs> and the way he plays DK. But hey, man, he's definitely one of those one of the best solo DK mains here in solo. I mean, it's only solo. It takes a lot of dedication to run DK through the gauntlet. Not only just run DK, honestly, just playing a solo main mm -hmm. in this game because it's a game of <laughs> Stop looking. We got uh, Papa JMX uh, overseeing everything. You want to know that? Making sure we don't get too far out of line. This is my fourth one. He's shaking his head. Uh, I am. Vance and Minnie. You know what? You know, uh, I'm, 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 I, ha I have to stop, though, because I have to drive my carpool home. He's got to drive his carpool <laughs> home. Uh, sorry, it's Silver's Fox. Pokemon trainer coming out. Again, it's YMCA, the DK of legend. And, you know, it's, it's funny. You got the, the white gorilla, right? Some would call that one the Silver Fox gorilla. So. <laughs> if he didn't main DK, it'd probably be, yeah. yeah. But all right, already opening up with the patented Squirtle early, early percents, and I'm sure Ivysaur will be coming out as soon as he gets the breakaway. Or I was just going to say Squirtle the whole entire time. Oh, there's Ivysaur, all right. Yeah. Tried That's through. kind of one of those things you want to have a Squirtle, like right? the ability to do, do damage right up front and then get like, damage percent, and then I have Ivysaur to play the mid-range to have your opponent feel flustered. Like, okay, I took a lot of damage from Squirtle. Now I have to start making a couple more approaches. But that's one thing that Ivysaur excels at. It's just that mid-range game. It's not for those approaches. Able to use that recover here and go for the neutral air. What a great play coming out from Zora Fox. Sets up the Razor Leaf. Really good projectile, honestly. Uh, he's got him thrown off no, stage. He's, he's, he's going to survive. have to make the switch. You have to. Okay, no. Go for no, the he, he even held on to it. He's like, I'm going to stay the Ivysaur. Especially because YMCA didn't go out and threaten at yeah. all. Yeah. It allowed him to stick to Ivysaur. He was content with just getting him off the stage and looking to see the play. Right. Another Razor Leaf here. Can he get from the downing? He was so close to setting it up. But the clap, getting clipped by the up here. Uh, there's an up air covering that, uh, covering the juggle situation. Picks up the stock, YMCA down just a little bit. And as you said, the first seed's on the line. Yeah, yep. that'll kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get him off my stage, man. I want, I want an opportunity here. All right, Squirtle's back out into the play, and let's see, he's gonna rack up that early damage. Here's the start, got that ladder going. Nice, easy 50%, no problem. 60% now. Oh man, uh, Spinning Kong though doing some damage. He's got a little breakaway. Got to hit him with that, and I bet uh, Ivysaur. Yep, here we go. Sticking right to the game plan. Nice side B into another YMCA here. Doesn't get the sweet spot though. It's good percent. Yeah, YMCA has got his hands full just a little bit. Oh, he tried to throw out. The, uh, the punch, but. Good opportunity for Silver Fox because he went for an empty hop and then just came back to the platform just trying to avoid YMCA. Oh, uh, trying to oh, eat him nice. right there. <laughs> that was a little unexpected. You know, I've even seen him run off stage and throw him and got onto a platform and almost comboed it with like the old school ding dong. Yep. And Charizard's now, now, now out on the field and let's see what kind of damage. You see the back air is being thrown out. We know what Silver Fox is going for. <laughs> it's a big back air hitbox. Yep. But unfortunately, if you keep jumping behind the Donkey Kong, that's where Donkey Kong's back air is. I was going to say, Charizard has some way, but one just chucks you out of the stage like that. Yeah. You'll definitely just lose your stock like that. Good recovery option right there, right to the ledge with the air dodge from YMCA. And he's living to fight another day, but he's off stage and in disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Does he make, does you he don't want to be there. <laughs> yeah, he actually gets, doesn't get killed by the upbeat from DK. Able to get that spiky box from the down air. Solar Fox trying to land with the forward air. Looking to get some little bit of spacing, but I do like the fact that he lands with the trend line with the forward and then go for a follow up. Down throw to Nair. Can he get a follow up here? Doesn't find it, but he gets a little re grab and good opportunity to send DK in a little bit of a vortex and around the stage. Yeah, this time deviating from the game plan just a little bit, using Ivysaur to rack up the early damage, and now he's just using Ivysaur to rack up the high damage too. You don't need to change character. Well, oh, I was gonna say, watch, it, watch the jump. Watch the jump here because that's what was so crucial for YMCA. Right. If Silver Fox felt safe here, he would have gotten a clip of that forward air, lost the stock, but Silver Fox knew I have my jump. This is my opportunity, and here is my punish. And definitely and I, I respect that attempt from YMCA because, as we mentioned in the earlier stock, I kind of questioned him and was like, oh, why didn't he threaten the Ivy? Yeah, he's never he didn't do that state. before, yeah. So, you know, really good presence of mind for Silver Fox not to get caught sleeping. And, you know, but I respect the attempt from YMCA. Yeah, so Sometimes, do I. you know, there's risk reward. Sometimes we get the reward, but sometimes we get hit with the risk side of it. Yeah. That was that. You right got to risk it for the biscuit, man. Yeah. Opening it up game two, Silver Fox probably, you know, feeling a little lucky to pull away with that one. Mm -hmm. But, you know, good it, good down air follow-up to close it out, too. Like, not a lot of players are going to be able to hit that for sure. But opening up the game, he's already got that low percent damage. Ivysaur is going to be on deck pretty soon as soon as he gets a breakaway. 
Wow. Oh, forward smash. Forward smash. Yeah, as I was saying, he's going to probably take the recovery time as an opportunity to switch. Tries nice. to connect the Vine Whip there. That would have killed. Oh, I like the fact that he was looking for a grab on DK's line here, but he missed the mark. Has to be careful on that tether recovery because YMC is looking to slowly catch up to it. A good opportunity for Silver Fox to save his jump. He went really for an up throw in that situation instead of anything, but I don't think he got the hop to be close enough for any sort of follow-up. Yeah, YMC is struggling in this matchup just a little bit. Oh, and he got clipped with that last hit of that comp here on the ground. Yeah, spinning comp just coming through. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't, if you uh, mix up sometimes, uh, I would not usually recommend up special in the neutral, but hey <laughs> sometimes it'll catch people off guard. That is true. Well, the least, ex the more least expected, the more opportunity they'll get caught by. Some of the best mix-ups look like uh, input errors on the, uh, you know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right, so the Fox waits for the opportunity to come back from the landing. Good, good patience. Barely does that roll from the ledge at the wrong time. It looks like YMC. Wow, was and he got dumpstered right there with the down air. It looks like YMCA was trying to anticipate the roll get up there, but unfortunately he did not see Silver Fox going for neutral and then roll. And YMCA built himself up a nice lead here in game two. Because they're playing it back and forth. Oh, oh he broke the shield. shield. You are dancing with the stars, hey, my fatality. friend. Fatality. He's yeah, dead, dude. Yeah, he's dead. Match is over, right? <laughs> oh, it's not over. Okay. And he broke the shield, dancing <laughs> with the stars. Yeah, broke his shield. Sometimes just it happens, you got to bounce back. But when you get your shield broken, sometimes it's it's a rough it's a rough mental blow. It sometimes is. It is very true. But that's okay. one thing you have to know is you can't be holding on to shield too much, and especially when you're taking that much damage from DK. You kind of have to go back to playing that mid range game. I feel like that's where he's kind of been struggling a little bit so far with Ivasaur. He's able to get the percentage portal, but it's the mid range game of Ivasaur. He's kind of been lacking. Good spacing here. I would have loved to have seen a punish on that aerial against YMCA. Silver Fox missing that opportunity. Yeah, it's like a few missed opportunities here or there, and that's kind of the difference in the match, like you were saying. Yeah, he's got the Ivysaur back out, and he definitely wants to close out this stock. It's kind of like Link, where Link, if you toss in Boomerang at close range, it isn't that great. You kind of want to make sure you have a little bit of a mid-space range, toss it out, and have more of a safety check now. Gets the up, down air, but not going to be able to finish it off. Cloud, oh my god, is this going to be it? But no tech, and unfortunately, the jump on Silver Fox is going to cause him to lose that game, YMCA. Bring in a game three. Didn't expect it because he threw him off the stage. So yeah. No tech. Can you hear the crowd? Look at that, man. I'm yeah, telling you, man, crowd. the crowd is hyped for an Arcadian. They want that Donkey Kong to advance. Uh, Silver Fox also has some uh, some people in the crowd rooting for him as well. That's the beauty of the Arcadians, right? You got all this, the top players. They get their followings, but when you got when you get behind your hometown hero. Yeah. YMCA, definitely one of those players. <laughs> the power of, of friendship. The power. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's that Yu-Gi-Oh level kind yeah. of stuff. <laughs> Believe in the heart of the cards. Uh, but we're, we're opening up on Battlefield now, and let's see if Silver Fox can get back onto that game one script, or if YMCA is just going to keep it, you know, keep it going from where he left off. Is that still not safe on hit? On mm, well, early? I was going to say, scroll has got that low pull off. So yeah. Be able to... That looks, uh, that looks frustrating. <laughs> There, this, you know. this is what I'm talking about, right? Like, that's the one thing that seems to be Silver Fox is a little oh, bit. Oh, there's the, the uh, sweet spot of that one. And yeah, he got YMC him with the kill confirm, and he's heated, and it's uh, red alert time for YMCA now. Yeah, but you're looking to keep up the percent a little bit even here with those couple of falling up airs. And at this point, Silver Fox not even bothering with the Squirtle for the upper percent, just playing it. Nice, good mix up with the empty hop here. and gets a little bit of a Venusaur Vortex. I remember back in PM, man, when Venusaur had like a charging solar beam. That was oh, with the bullets? Yeah. Or the, that the, was the not seeds. fun. That was not <laughs> fun. He even healed himself too every time he used solar beam. Come on, man. what was that? It was legit. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Take so some notes to Nintendo. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I thought he was going to go with a vine whip right there. So did I. We went landing forward air. Possible opportunity. Let's see what throw. does. He got the throw. I do like the fact that Silver Fox understood that he lost the stock the last time because he went for a jump. Yeah. Oh, and he barely got him with the dong punch. So close. And that armor from the side be able to power through for YMCA. Yeah, where's the hitbox? I feel like he was uh, missing an action a bit. Gets the up air, and he's only down 100%. 115% with that landing back air. Let's see what he's able to do. Good, uh, good forward air covering from Charizard. And Silver Fox in firm command. He's got to make a uh, up throw. Not oh, he got the platform. Okay. Yeah, but not the kill. And yeah. of course, unfortunately, DK has one of those heavy Kongs for sure. This one might be enough though. 
No. Oh, it's stale now. Yeah, the stale factor, I always, uh, you know, I always underestimate it. I want to see Silver Fox kind of look, look in the space of back air there for, especially as Charizard up throw that definitely will do. Yeah, I thought 100% <laughs> it has to work. times the trick, right? Yep. Getting some pummels, uh, <laughs> unstale it just a little bit. I don't know what's worse, too. The first two times it was the fact that it was in the middle platforms <laughs> did not go for him well at all. Squirtle is light. Top three light character in the game. You have to be careful against DK. You have that combo potential, but DK can definitely just rob you. You're yeah. not ready. Look out for some sort of rogue up air to pop him off the top. The tiny turtle could go flying. Oh, but yeah. He's doing a really good job racking on the early percent. That's 75 damage pretty much unanswered. Nice. I do like that little bit of change, right? Go to Ivasaur for the ledge guard, especially we have such a lead back throw stage control here. There's a silver fox opportunity oh, for that play, but he missed the mark. YMCA going to carry him off to the side here. And Silver Fox and another chance of life with that long to the recovery. And we saw that, uh, you know, a couple of times uh, now the throw. He probably had a chance to, again, keep some edge guard pressure on, but let Ivysaur get back with a mind lift. You would think, grab the ledge and back here or something with the Donkey Kong, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. But it's so close. Uh, YMCA holding on for dear life, as we said. This is for the top seed in the pool. Oh, uh, no up air, down air. Not going to be the spike hit box. YMCA will still hit oh, me that up air. Out. And that'll do it. And YMCA losing that one. Silver Fox with a pop off. And the victory. And Tense. Addressing the crowd. Hey, you earned it, right? Yeah.